Hey everyone, it's Eric here from My525XL bringing you a, another tank update. <clears throat> uh, today is Thursday, June the 20th. So I missed last week's update. Didn't have much to say. Um, but I think I was complaining about the state of my tank and how I neglected it. And I am trying to clean it up. But as you can see, I've still got some algae on the bottom. So I'm going to put it under a microscope today and take a look at it and see if I can figure out I'm pretty sure it's, uh, I, and I don't think it's dinos, I think it's, um, what do you call it, diatoms, pretty sure. Um, anyway, I'm going to put it on the microscope, I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, that's the plan for this afternoon and see what it looks like. Um, the tank itself is doing okay though, I mean, I am noticing discoloration on some of the corals because my nitrates were kicking like 30 26 so I'm starting to dose no pox not a big fan of dosing the stuff but I am doing water changes as well but I don't want to shock everything so I need to get those nitrates down um, they're a lot higher than I've ever kept them I'm trying to figure out what the source is uh, oh, here's Bob coming to check everything out hey Bob I'm trying to figure out what the source is uh, I'm not I haven't changed the way I'm feeding at all. Uh, I actually dialed back the, uh, the automatic feeder, so it's not putting in as much pellets anymore. Very little actually, just enough for everybody to get a taste. So <clears throat> that's not it. Still doing one cube of brine shrimp a day. I might need to cut that back, but honestly, by the time these guys are done, I don't see anything left over, so I'm not sure that's it. Um, yeah, I'm really struggling with why my nitrates are so high. Uh, nothing's dead in the tank. Um, now, the only thing that's kind of screwed me up, and I was really upset about it, was the uh, Kamor water changer is, is done. Well, I can't connect to it, so I googled a bit and found some weird suggestions, which I don't even know if I have the brains to do. Um, so I'm going to do water manual water changes for now. Uh, <laughs> resorting back to the bucket so but other than that I mean I'm still getting growth on the corals as you can see so I'm not overly concerned there my concern is the discoloration that did just out of there is like it used to be fairly red now it's almost beige um, and then same with that red coral I can't remember what it's called on the left hand side it's almost it's not dead but it's not red <laughs> so obviously I know there's an issue there with the nutrients so I'm gonna try and get that under control and then over in the sea harvest tank, I do need to clean the glass a bit, but uh, everything's going okay. One of my frags broke off the plug there. It was my fault. I got to glue back on. Uh, but everything in here is going pretty good. Seahorses are happy. The uh, frostbite is happy. Uh, corals are doing great. No complaints. I just did a five-gallon water change last week. Um, nitrates are under con sorry, nutrients are under control, so not too worried about this tank. It's uh, it's doing really well. Don't want to jinx it. Knock on wood, if that is wood. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Seahorse tank is doing well. This guy's kind of funny. He's been hanging around upside down a lot. I guess he's just looking for stuff. I do put in copepods once in a while, so uh, that's probably what he's looking for. I did see some bristle worms in here, of course. Uh, I hate those things. Some of them are a necessary evil. You can actually see one there crawling on the rock. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick it up or not. Um, <clears throat> anyway. We'll see how it goes. I saw a yellow spotted box fish in the LFS on Sunday. I was so bloody tempted to pick it up and put it in here. I absolutely love, love, love those fish. They have so much character. I had one over in the uh, the big tank years ago. Um, and I was I was doing something under here. And I kept getting water drops on my head. So I'm staring up at the ceiling thinking, what the hell have I got a leak? Couldn't figure it out. And uh, I guess he was hungry because... I look up and he was right up here at the top of the tank and he was spitting water it onto my head. I thought, okay, maybe you're hungry. So I, I put some fish food in and sure enough, he started eating it. So damnedest thing I've ever seen. It was so cool. So cool. Um, so anyway, that's the update on the tank for today. I'll take you in and show you, take the filter off. This is a microscope I'm going to use to uh, take a look at the algae on the bottom. So it's got a screen here, you could take a picture, so I'll post the picture up once I get it on there and we'll see what we're looking at. So that's my next step, so sit tight and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So this is what we're looking at, and to me, 
That does not look like... Uh, what does... Sorry. I think, um, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, but that's really what I'm seeing. Um, yeah. Makes sense, because it's not all, doesn't have like a snotty kind of, uh, consistency to it, so I'm thinking I've just got diatoms, which is not overly uncommon, but probably an issue with silicates, I think, so I'll probably put in some, uh, GFO. I know it's going to affect the phos uh, sorry, the uh, phosphates as well. I've got to do a reading on my phosphates. I haven't done it for a little bit, um, so I'm going to do that. Um, I did see some sort of green algae on the back of the tank, so I'm guessing my phosphates are a little higher than usual. So I'm going to start GFO tonight. Uh, I'll put it in my, uh, my um, what do you call it, the NIOS there that filter the carbon through. I'm going to add a bag of GFO in there too and just run it for a couple of days and take the measurements and we'll see what happens. So so yeah, science at work here. Pretty cool. This is my daughter's microscope actually from uh, I think it was high school. <laughs> Still coming in handy. Alright, so I think that's it for me for today. Uh, not much else to say really. But um, in a better mood these weeks. It's been a little better at work, so I'm not as stressed out. Kind of got some things under control anyway, so uh, yeah, feeling better about things. It's amazing what stress will do to you. It can really do a number on the body, right? My head was pounding, blood pressure way up, and just pissy. Not a happy camper. But anyway, um, I always resort to the tank to get some relaxation. I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of my thing, so. Um, yeah, see, so I mean, I'm still getting some good growth here, so I'm not concerned about the growth. That plate's falling over. I gotta find a new spot for that. I really need to take some coral to the LFS and see if I can get some sort of a credit. I'm feeling a little cramped here. This thing's growing like crazy. This piece, these are all the no namers that I keep referring to as no namers. That guy there. This piece over here. My Duncans are getting big. I got lots of recordia floating around all over the place. I need to get organized here. So um, I don't know when I'm going to do that, but that's the plan. I'm actually thinking of maybe trading in the torch. I love it. Um, I just think it's getting pretty big. I don't know if I should frag a piece off and then trade it in or I don't know. I'll have to see. You can see the finger leather coral in the back there is starting to get pretty big again. So it's actually spread onto that rock beside it. So yeah, so anyway, that's uh, that's it for me for today. Please let me know your thoughts on the algae, on the sand. It looks like uh, diatoms to me. I looked up a few uh, images on Google. Kind of looks the same. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Uh, I am going to start doing GFO, so we'll see what happens. It's definitely not a lack of nutrients. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway. All right. I'm going to stop yapping. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend coming up. It's pretty warm here in Toronto. It's like 33, 34. Humidex is ridiculous right now. But uh, it's not snowing. So, anyway. Until we chat again, I hope you guys stay safe and happy reefing. <laughs>